for me. I have to change real quick. Just my shoes and that's I'm it. I'm sorry. They're waiting for me. I have to go. Um, see you later. Okay. Bye. Be safe. Nadia? Ženo, pa ti si bolesna. Oh my God, pa imaš temperaturu. Pa šta ćeš da radiš? Kamilicu piji, limun i odmara i ženo. Pa da će proći, gde da te... Ma, bit će bolje, pa čuvaj se, pa šta ćeš da radiš? Pa proći će, kad ti kažem, proći će. Nemoj da se brineš, proći će. Are you recording? Yes, Dr. Fabrizi. The left end of the artery injury started below that the upper third of the neck with severance of the left cataract artery. What the hell? Still recording, doctor. 
Please stop it. Stopped. I need to think about this. Are you trying to run me over? I'm trying to save our jobs. What's that supposed to mean? The podcast starts in half an hour. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. The show starts at 10, and it's only 8.30. Wrong. Daylight savings time ended last night. Oh, no. You forgot to change your watch. Again. Shit, what are we going to do? Hurry, we can still make it. But I can't go like this. I have to take a shower first. Impossible. No time. I at least want to smell good when they fire us. Nobody's gonna fire us. We've got all the sponsors. I don't give a damn about your sponsors. It was showtime and your asses was nowhere near the booth, so I did what I had to do. But Marvin... Hey, look, that's Mr. Jones to you, sweetheart. Look, besides, he's doing a good job. He can't. He just can't. Well, maybe, but today he's hosting your show. Marvin... Well, what's that smell? Marvin, can we at least discuss this? You could if you didn't have somewhere to go. <sighs> what do you mean, where, where are we going? District Attorney's office. What for? Press conference about a double homicide. Oh, come on. It's just another Monday morning in Chicago. That's Sullivan's job. Not today. Today is yours. Oh, here you go. Oh, what is that smell? Come on, Pilar. Let's go. Uh-oh. What? I think we're late again. <sighs> what are we gonna do now? I mean, we cannot go back with our hands empty. We won't. We won't? Uh-uh. Call your girl. Who? The forensic girl. Tracy! Of course. She'll spill the beans for us. Of course she will. She's crazy about you. She sure is. Hey, wait, maybe I should take a shower first. Don't worry, she won't notice. Are you sure? Of course. She's used to smelling corpse all day long, so. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Something smells funny. Does it? Yeah, I think it's the cheese. That could be. Ouch. So you were saying it was a uh, double murder? Yeah. The girl at her throat slipped from ear to ear. She bled to death. We see that every day. Of course. But the dude, man, that was a shocker. His throat was all torn. I mean, it was like chewed up. He had flesh hanging all over his neck. It was something else. Maybe a dog did it. Yeah, or maybe rats. We'll find out for sure when we get the lab results back. But there's more. More? We found tissue <laughs> under his nails. From a fight? Probably. So you've got the killer's DNA now? You would think so, only it was dead tissue. What do you mean? Well, whatever it was he scratched had been dead a long time. I mean, it was rotten flesh. Stinky, dead, rotten tissue. That's crazy. I know, right? The cheese is fine. It's good, actually. You gonna eat yours? Excuse me. Can I get this go, please?
Get out the car! 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 Get out the We'll be on time, I promise. What happened? Hurry up, we have to move. Move where? Another double murder. There's a press conference in an hour. Does that mean you could take a shower this time? I hope so. Yeah, that makes a bunch of us. I talked to Tracy. She said one of the carjackers had his throat ripped off. Are you kidding me? Tracy just sent me a text. She said the lieutenant is already speaking. Shit! Step on the gas, Shelly! I don't want to have an accident. We don't have insurance. The second carjacker was a 20-year-old male with four previous arrests for charges including burglary, child endangerment, and domestic battery. Lieutenant Pulaski, can you comment on the rumor that this was some kind of street justice by the people who are tired of gun violence and crime in the city? That's ridiculous, because... Uh, Lieut lieutenant, I'd like to respond to that. Of course, Madam Mayor. <coughs> that was an irresponsible question. We need real dialogue that goes beyond just a discussion about who has the best data, but rather expands to a conversation about how to responsibly use these statistics to drive smart decision making and the reduction of violent crime. From our perspective, we want to talk about how to save lives reduce violence, and eradicate the socioeconomic factors that contribute to it. I, I have a question, Mayor. Yes? For Dr. Fabrizi. For me? Could you confirm whether these two crimes were committed by the same person? What kind of question is that, Franco? Of course they were. They were killed in the same parking lot within minutes of each other. No, I'm not talking about the two carjackers. I'm talking about this crime and the photographer and model that were killed last weekend. Well, both crimes are under investigation, so there's no need for speculation. I'm not speculating. I'm just asking. No, and I'm responding. Nothing indicates these two crimes had anything to do with each other. Not even the fact that their necks were all chewed up? That's it. No more questions. A full statement will be sent to your contact information. Thank you. What kind of sick people is this? I can. How do they know that? I know, right? You guys been talking to your wives. Not me. No, 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 no. You were terrific. Thank you. I mean, you killed it. Excuse me, ladies. Ladies? Yep. She said ladies. <laughs> Who are you with? Mm, SJN. Who? Social Justice Network. <laughs> Social Justice, my ass. You work for Marvin, don't you? Oh, you know Marvin. Yeah. Maybe I should give him a call about reassigning this story to someone else. What's the name of that reporter they usually send? Sullivan. Yeah, Sullivan. I like Sullivan. Conducts himself in a very professional manner. Look, these are serious issues. 
And I think Marvin shouldn't be sending unprepared interns to cover city press conferences. I agree. If you'll excuse me, ladies. Oh! Calm you know down. what this means, don't you? Debra. It's on. It's on. No way. We're gonna stand the story. We're gonna solve this case. We're gonna catch the killer before the cops do. It's on. You Relax. hear me? Relax. It's on. Intern. Who should call me an intern? I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's on. I mean it. Where are the elevators? The other way. It's on. Lord have mercy. You will not use the airwaves on my radio station to promote your crazy conspiracy theories. Now, wait a minute, wait. Marcus. What century is this? Listen, I am not going to lose my license over some insane leaked information about a killer biting people's necks. What are your sources? I can't mention names and get people fired. You know that. Ex you know how this works. Exactly. I know how this works because it's my job to set the standards. Oh, please. You know what? This might be a new concept to you two, but there's this little thing called social responsibility. With whom? The man? You know what? I'm not even going to respond to that. No, of course not. Hey, Marvin. Do me a favor. Get some garlic, a crucifix, and get the hell out of my station. Let's go, Kolchak. You need to relax. Come on. Hey, Maxwell. What's up, Ron? Is it true the killer used his teeth to bite out the victim's throats? Not only that, he twisted their spines Ugh. and broke almost every bone in their bodies. Oh, my God. I've done two tours in Afghanistan. Never heard of anything like this. There was blood, flesh, Ugh. organs all over the crime scene. Oh, Jesus. And on top of that... What? What? Ah! <laughs> you should have seen your face, Sullivan. It's not funny. <laughs> I bet you shitted your hands. That's not funny at all. How does she know my brand? What? You got another call. It's the mayor's office. Again? I wonder if he's going to kill again tonight. What makes you so sure it's a he? It's got to be. He's too sloppy. I'm sloppy. No, you're not. You're dedicated. And your followers love that. I don't know. Speaking of followers, how many of you so far? None. I haven't posted yet. You haven't? Why not? What are you waiting for? Marvin's airwaves? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he said that. The man is stuck in the 80s. We are influencers. We control the message. Until we get canceled? Then we look for new platforms. I guess you're right. Of course I am. Go ahead, hit post. Posted. That's my girl. Now we need to celebrate. How did you call it? Night hunt. Bloodthirsty killer roams the streets of Chicago. Damn, that's aggressive. I thought you'd like it. I do. I love it. Really love it. Mm. This is good. It's gonna get me tipsy. That's the plan. Are you trying to seduce me? Maybe. Why? It's working. <laughs> what? Don't pick up. At least let me see who it is. It's probably Marvin firing us after reading your blog. Hi, Tracy. I read your blog. Did I get you in trouble? No, no, no. That's not why I'm calling. Listen, we got some new evidence. The lab results are back. The DNA found on the carjackers and the photographer are a match. So it's conclusive that they were both killed by the same person. Good, so my report is accurate. Well, not really. Why not? The model was killed with the knife, and the detectives now think that she was killed by the photographer. And I would agree with that. That's interesting. I'm interesting. So 
So now his the photographer changed from victim to suspect. His studio was much more than a crime scene. That's exactly what they were saying at the meeting this evening. So how long do you think we have before the cops turn that place upside down? I would say tomorrow morning at the latest. Thank you, Tracy. You're the best. I'm the best. Wait, hold it, one more thing. The saliva found on the victim's throats is human. Human? Yes, no dogs, no rats, human. Human and dead. You mentioned the tissue before. Whatever it was they scratched or got bitten by was dead. And I mean like long time dead. And the DNA doesn't match anything in our file, so this is gonna take a while. Jesus. Yeah, listen, I, I gotta go. Good luck tonight. Well? Get dressed. Get dressed? We're going out. beautiful night to get arrested or killed. I thought the killer was dead. The photographer is dead. And according to Tracy, the guy that killed him is even deader. Deader? Uh-huh. So there's nothing to worry about. What are you Let's doing? Go. We're going to be seen from outside. Well, how are we going to be seeing inside? Hold on. Oh. See? Night vision. Smart girl. Mm-mm. Genius. He was a good photographer. Mm, the models are hot though. What do you think happened here? Everything. A ritual? What kind of ritual? The kind that bleed people to death. It happens in churches all around the country. They call it donations. Look, over there. I don't think so. The deader guy? What are you doing? Sorry, but I need to see more. All right, here we go. I hope Marvin can bail our asses out of jail. Look, here's your photographer. What the hell happened here? Let's, let's compose this. Uh-oh. First, the photographer kills a model right over here in some satanic ritual. Okay, that's the easy part. Third. Wait, wait, you're skipping second. Bear with me. Okay, Sherlock. Third, the photographer gets killed right here by... The debtor guy. Correct. Where did the debtor guy come from? That, see, that I have no clue. And that's number two. That's number two. Something happened right here. After a ritual right over there that resulted in a son of a bitch getting chewed up to death over there. And I have no idea what it was and it's driving me crazy. I know. Who is the debtor guy? What are these prints? And where did they come from? Transylvania? That little box? Look, this seems to be like a big ass debtor guy. And that's a tiny ass box. It's not a box. It's an urn. A what? An urn? Like where they put debtor guys in when there's still ashes? Still ashes? Huh? Yeah, do you know how this works? You've seen the movies too, haven't you? I'm afraid I have. Number one, devil worshiper, crazy ass photographer, kills one of his models and collects her blood in a cup. Number two, 
Dracula fan, son of a bitch photographer. Mixes dead model's blood with deader guy's ashes and wakes him up from the grave. Number three, deader guy wakes up moody and hungry. And instead of rewarding his ass with eternal life, he decides to have a shithead photographer for dinner. I rest my case. Bravo. You should be a writer. I am. Cool, Hemingway. You've got your story. Can we go now? It's getting creepy. Not yet. I've got my story, but I need visuals. Hey, uh, that's my job. Cool. I'll record some video, too. We need to find out anything we can about this guy. Dead or deader? Dead? The photographer? He's the key to finding the other one. Where's Porto Alegre? Who? Porto Alegre? Portugal? Don't look at me. I got lost in Indiana. And Colonia de Sacramento? California. No, not Sacramento. Colonia de Sacramento. Hmm, Baja California? Uruguay. At least the money's from Uruguay. Okay, I think I'm done. Can we go now? Take some pictures of these papers and then we can go. It's just better to look at pictures and try to read in the dark. You're right, it's getting creepy in here. You don't seriously believe any of this shit, do you? What do you mean? Vampires. I believe anything and everything first, and then I disbelieve later. That's not very scientific, is it? On the contrary, science is constant doubt and is never settled. At this rate, we'll end up writing for the QAnon Digest. I wonder if he's out there tonight, hunting. I hope not. If he is, people need to know. You can't save the world, Bilad. By myself, maybe not. But you and I together? We got this. Lord have mercy. I don't understand why I can't take her with me. She's not a suspect, is she? Of course not, Mr. Stevens. But she is a witness to a violent crime, and she could be in danger. Man, we could take care of my sister way better than y'all can. You know, even if that was true. No, it is true, man. We don't need no cops, Officer Pulaski. That's Lieutenant. Man, whatever. And you need to go talk to her. Your sister isn't ready to go yet. Yeah, we'll see about that. Sandra, Sa where my sister at, man? Sandra! I'll have the nurse bring you your medication, okay? For what? It'll help you sleep tonight. I don't want to sleep. I know, but you really need to. Dr. Khan. Yeah. You do believe me, right? I believe that you need to get some sleep. <sighs> yes. Stevens, I believe your brother's here. Man, get out the way, man. <gasps> TJ! Hey. hey. Oh. Oh. oh, God. Look, it's okay, sis. I'm here, okay? okay. I got you. You all right? Yeah. Let's let them have a few minutes. Hey, I'm okay. Thank you. Let's go. You all right?
Yo, sister, you sure about this? You know me and my boys can protect you better than the whole police department. <laughs> yeah, TJ, I know you can. I just, I feel like I need to stay here. Why? <laughs> because I want to help. Look, if anything happens, you call me. Yeah. I'll be right back. I forgot something. Now what? Hey, sis, I almost forgot. Look, <laughs> mama, man, she wanted me to give you this. Give me what? Hold on. What is this? Look, she wanted really? me to give you this. All right? She's, she said Jesus will protect you. You know how mama is? Yeah, I know how <laughs> mama is. And she also knows I'm not a religious person. Listen, Sandra, just wear it, take a selfie, protect send me? it to her. It'll make her happy, okay? Yeah, okay. All right. I guess. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, bye. All Thank right. you. Call me. Uh-huh. Yo, man, you better get your ass off that phone. Something happened to my sister, I'm gonna come back and kick your ass. Man, go home. Toy cop. Can I help you? TJ? come from. I think this way. Let's go. Chicago has a new enemy. As in other large cities in this country, Chicagoans have learned to live with big challenges. I told you I got you. We have become accustomed to dealing with violence, marginalization, racial tension, viruses, and lockdowns. We are strong and resilient. It seems that nothing can beat us. We always find a way to overcome adversity and move on with our lives. However, very occasionally, there are challenges that defy all logic.
the lessons of history that prepare us to adapt to everything, or almost everything, fail us. Suddenly, we find ourselves unprotected. Confused and scared. Against all reason, we are left to cling to old forgotten forms of defense that we had already purposely disposed of. Science is not enough, and superstition becomes a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm Pilar Franco, and this is The Hammer. Well, I'm glad you didn't mention the V word. Well, you said you'd fire us if we did, so. Yeah, that's quite an incentive, Marvin. Have you considered a career in human resources? I'm not gonna fire your asses. At least not today. But uh, not until you, uh, what's the word? Engage your followers? Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed, Marvin. Yeah, that's influencer talk 101. <laughs> <clears throat> well, okay, influencers, respond to your emails. We got hundreds of them. Our live chat's on fire, as well as our hotlines. Hotlines? <laughs> See that? That's last century shit. Yeah, you were doing just fine until that. <laughs> Enough of that. We're losing revenue by the minute. Now move! Oh, uh, Marvin. I wanted to talk to you about some ideas I had for engagement. Ron, I'm a married man. Not even my type. TJ, where are we? Nicole's house. Nicole's house? Why? You said you were taking me home. Look, calm down. We can't go home. Oh, why not? Look, sis, please. Look, trust me, okay? I know what I'm doing. I know how to hide. But TJ... Sandra, look. If this son of a bitch decides to come back around, I'm gonna be ready for him. Okay? And it could get nasty. You know what I mean? Exactly, which is why we just... And we don't want Mama to see that now, do we? I guess not. All right. Trust me. You'll be safe here. Let her go? Yeah, her brother took her home this morning, I think. Can you try to find out where she lives? I can try. I can't believe they will let her go. She's in danger. I don't blame them after last night. Gee, I'm glad I'm working the morning shift this week. Sandra Stevens should be in a police station surrounded by armed cops. Armed? Armed with what? Wooden crosses and stakes? Bullets didn't do much. <sighs> emails in the last 24 hours. When Marvin said the chat was on fire, I didn't know he meant California statewide wildfire. Engagement is a dream of all influencers. I don't know where to start. Organize them by sender and start with the ones who sent more messages. 
good idea. What would I do without you? Where is Crowley? Who? Porto Alegre is in Brazil. Colonia Sacramento is in Uruguay, not in Baja California. Hey, that was a wild guess. And now I found a note that says Crowley. Hey, I thought you were gonna be responding to messages too. I'll do that later, this is important. How do you spell Crowley? Never mind, I found it. You're fast with Google. I never use Google. Here it says that there are six cities named Crowley and that they're all in the US. They're in Texas, Oregon, Louisiana, Colorado, California, and Arkansas. Baja California? Maybe it's not a place. Maybe it's a person. Speaking of persons, we have a total winner here. This girl sent 54 emails this morning only. That's the definition of a follow. <laughs> More like cult follower. And many of them are voice messages. Should I play one? Why not? I'm not making much progress here anyway. Here you go. What the hell? Sounds like someone speaking Spanish with broken jaw. Not the Spanish that I know. What's her name? She signs Lady Trotsky. Must be Russian. It's not Russian. Let me look her up. Here's another one. Did she say Crowley? I don't know. I don't understand a word she's saying. Listen to this. Lady Trotsky, a.k.a. Renata Sesembra, is a Brazilian writer from Porto Alegre. Porto Alegre? Listen, Sesembra has published several novels and articles about vampirism, claiming they're based on historical facts. Most of her stories originate from folklore, from Buenos Aires. Uruguay. No, that's Argentina. I told you I get lost in Indiana. And Montevideo. No, that's Uruguay. Do you think she knew the photographer? She knows something. We have to get in touch with her. I'm on it. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To the studio. I want to try something. Do you need help? No. Uh, try to get Lady Chosky on Zoom or Skype or anything where we can record her. I'll be right back. Now you see why I wanted to bring you here, sis. I know the cops ain't got this type of setup. I guess not. Look, you don't even have to be right here to see it, all right? I'm gonna send you a link, and all you have to do is look at your phone, and you can see the cameras wherever you at. You don't even need an app. Yeah, TJ, it's real cool. Listen, if that son of a bitch shows up here and we see him, we'll be ready for him. And so you guys did all of this for me? Not really. Nicole already had these cameras set up. Why would Nicole need so many cameras? Don't even ask. Hey, Sandra. They're talking about you. If you're watching this, please get in touch with me. My direct contact information is on the live chat. Please call me. I have information that could save your life. She lying. I will not disclose your location. I don't even need to know where you are. Sounds sincere to me. Thanks, Nicole. Sure. I don't know, TJ. Maybe I should call her. That's a bad idea. But she says she wants to help. She's lying through her teeth. You're just a story to her. Look, she'll do exactly the opposite of what she said she wouldn't do. She'll expose our location. You can't trust the media. Well, that was different. I hope it works. You will kill her, Shelly. We both know that. What the hell was that? Y'all sending private messages through my airwaves? The airwaves again. Marvin. What is this, a radio public message board? Uh, Marvin. What? Hi. Uh, you've got another phone call uh, from the mayor's office. Uh, they sound pretty pissed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I should have just bought that farm in Wisconsin, but no, Marvin, you had to spend your stimulus check on a radio station. You could have been a farmer in Wisconsin. He would have been a good farmer. Did you get in touch with Lady Trotsky? Yeah, she replied right away. 
I knew she would. I have the chat open. I'm just waiting for her. Why are you running it through PowerPoint? It's a hack I found on Reddit. It'll solve our language barrier problem. We'll have automatic translation captions. How about that? I thought Zoom had interpreters. They do, but do we really want anyone listening to this conversation? You mean other than Gates and Zuckerberg? <laughs> oh, I think she's on. Hi, how are you? Oh, maybe we don't need any of this. Hi, Renata. That's your name, right? Yes, Renata. Si. Yes, my name. Can you speak English? Uh, no, uh, eu não tenho inglês particularmente bom, moça. It mm. works. Don't worry, can you understand English? Si, yes. Mas, por favor, não fala rápido demais, porque o meu entendimento não é muito bom. Perfect. This is gonna work. Renata, why did you get in touch with us? Why did you write all those emails? Eu escutei esse podcast e eu ouvi o nome de Andrew Craig. Andrew Craig? Eu tenho coisas a dizer sobre isso. The photographer. Did you know Andrew Craig? Há cerca de um ano, ele tem contato comigo interessado em um livro que eu escrevi. Opa. Ele disse que tinha um contato com uma editora de Nova York que publicaria todos os meus livros. Mas no fim era tudo uma mentira. O que ele queria era saber sobre o Crowley. Um, did you tell her Crowley? About Crowley when we reached out to her? No, not at all. And we haven't published those pictures either. Renata, who is Crowley? Adrian Crowley was a member of the realeza britannica that came to live in the Sul, in the século XVII. Did you say 1600s? Yes, in 1680, to be more precise. He was a member of the Diablo, a member of the Diablo. He was imported by the Inquisition in 1677. So where does Andrew Craig fit in all this? Excuse me, I don't understand you. Can you talk again? Um, what did Andrew Craig want? Ele estava procurando a cinza de Crowley. It all makes sense now. Yeah. Depois de obter todas as informações que ele pôde de mim, Craig foi até colando o sacramento. Ouvi dizer, mas eu não sei se a fonte é muito confiável, que ele pagou um alto dinheiro ao morador para conseguir essas cinzas. Disso eu posso assegurar que ele fez. I think we got everything we needed. Renata, thank you so much. You're awesome. You helped us more than you'll ever know. <laughs> De nada. Estou feliz por ter podido ajudar. Boa sorte, meninas. There's someone else trying to join us. Deve ser Janet. Eu tive medo que ela não viesse. Who's Janet? Let her in. Eu sou a historiadora, mas foi ela quem conheceu. Met who? Craig? No. Crowley. Olá. Muito obrigada por ter vindo, Janet. Solo por vos, Renata. Excuse me, usted es Jeanette Diaz? Casi siempre. Uh oh, language translation. Is it, is it gonna work in two languages at the same time? I mean, three? I don't know. I'm hacking my way through this. I speak English. Little, few. Oh my God, I. Yo he leído todos sus libros. I love your work. Yo estoy enamorada de su poesía. You are very nice, thank you. I didn't know, I, I didn't think. I never write about Crowley and what happened back in the 80s. I never done it and never will. I leave that to Renata. I spent the last 30 years of my life trying to forget him. But I knew this day was coming. I'm not sure we're talking about the same Crowley. There is only one. Well, you certainly look gorgeous for someone that's been around since the 1600s. This is my amiga, Shelly. I do all the writing and she takes the pictures. You two remind me of my friend Pato and I when we were young. She was also a photographer. A very good photographer. What happened to her? Probably. Pato and I were following him close. Maybe too close. And she paid the price with her life. He almost killed me too. But the the sunrise bit him. He he didn't make it on time to his grave. And the sunrise, the rays burn his flesh, his bones. I saw him become ashes right in front of my eyes. 
And those were the ashes that Andrew Craig brought here? The ashes are in the bottom of the river. I throw them myself. Then how? In the last five years, we have, um, how you call it when, when the water goes down? The tide? When the river dries up, miles and miles of land appear. And people from all over, they come looking for gold coins or other stuff in the sand. Treasure hunters. Yes. Someone came looking for a treasure, but they found a curse. And now you have the curse. Yes, but thanks to you, we're going to break this curse. Yeah, we're going to beat his ass. I think you need to be very careful. Crowley is evil, and, and he won't stop. You beat him once. I was lucky, and you will need to be lucky too. This is Pilar Franco. Is this Sandra Stevens? Yeah. How did you know I would call? I've been told I'm overly confident. That makes two of us. Not tonight, though. I know what you mean. Listen, I'm not being recorded or anything, Emma. No, of course not. And you... You don't have me going live on the radio or anything, right? No, it's just us talking. Good. Because if my brother knew that I was talking to you, he would be pissed. That's why I'm whispering. I understand. Man, so what happened with Betty last night, man? Well, I'll tell you what happened with Betty. When I was up with Betty, her sister came by, too. Yo, man, what the hell are y'all doing? TJ, it's cold outside. We got this big Go fire, man. We gonna be seen. Go check on Sandra. We got this. Stupid. And then he was, like, walking in circles. He was furious. But he also seemed scared at the same time. Was there a crucifix on the wall? No. Did you have a cross on you? Yeah, I did. I had a crucifix with me. Why? Do you still have it? Uh, I think it's around here somewhere. Why? Sorry if this all sounds too crazy or too far out. <laughs> Nothing sounds crazy or too far out, especially if you've seen the things that I've seen. His eyes. Are you safe? Do you have enough protection? We've got a lot of protection, <laughs> but I don't feel safe. Find the cross and Call me anytime. I'll be up all night. Okay. Thank you. Hey, we're doing everything we can. She sounds like such a good person, you know? And I'm sure she is. We'll have a chance to meet her and go for a cup of coffee when all this is over.
You're not another one. Hey, what's wrong with that dog? Maybe it's seen something. Nah, no, that crazy dog barks all night. I wish it stopped barking. Maybe it needs to get laid. Getting on my nerves. Maybe you need to get laid. Oh, keep on barking, man. Ooh. Yo, y'all hear that? Seems like the owner finally had enough. Mm-mm. The owner works nights. That's why the dog barks all night long. What? Where the hell are they going? Sandra, are you all right? Is everything okay? Yeah, I think so. You said I can call at any time. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. I asked you to do this. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Everything is weird. What do you mean? Where are you? I'm, I'm in a room. Looking at these screens. What screens? Hold on. Come on, man. This is serious. Come on, man. She just sent us a link. To what? To everything. Did you get it? Yes, but I don't see you. Yeah, because there, no, there are no cameras here. Did they leave you alone? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Sandra! <gasps> Sandra, what's going on? I don't know.
I thought you two could use this. Did you put anything in it? Only the good stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. You're an angel. Speaking of angels, he's on his way now. He's been talking to the mayor for over an hour and he is pissed. Just another day in the life of Lieutenant Pulaski, I guess. Good luck, girls. The hell are you doing here? Coffee. Get back to your lab. Yes, my lord. So you didn't record any faces? No, as we already told you, we didn't have permission to record. What about the security cameras? Same answer. Honest reporters, huh? <laughs> what a concept. Did you try calling the cell phone companies? I'm sure they record everything all the time anyway. Yeah, we did. All we got was a bunch of blurry video of guys shooting at each other. What? Yeah, same with the CCTV cameras. Maybe he can't be photographed. Like with mirrors. <laughs> Here we go again. Listen, Lieutenant, we know what we saw. Yeah, I wish you did. We do. And so do you. At the hospital, remember? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, Jesus. This crazy talk needs to stop. Because the mayor says so? No, because I say so. What's wrong, Lieutenant? Are you and the mayor afraid of looking incompetent? Don't push me, Franco. A bunch of unresolved murder should be just another day for the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Enough! You don't know what you're dealing with. Actually, we do, and we have a suspect. Do you? Who? I'm not going to discuss it with you two. Of course. It'll be released today at a press conference. So stay low and stay out of this investigation, or I'll throw your asses in jail. You can't arrest us. I can, and I will. On what charges? Obstruction of justice. That's an easy one. Just don't make me. Can we go now? Yeah, not soon enough. Always close your eyes. But you can't close your ears. What? For as long as I live, I will always remember the sound she made. No, stop it. Can I speak for air while while being strangled? No, stop it. There was nothing we could have done. Maybe. Maybe not. There was nothing. Maybe the cops knew where she was. Stop. And all we had to do was pick up the phone. Maybe we should leave the city. I'm sure he saw us. I don't want to run. OK, then. Let's go shopping. What? I don't know about this one. Why not? It's holy water. What if it's not? What if it's just tap water? That lady from the Botanica said it was holy water, and I believe her. Do we want to risk it? Ouch! Shit! What is this? It's Christ thorns. What are we supposed to do with it? Break him to death? I read it can bleed a vampire to death. This is stupid. Well, you didn't want to leave the city. How close do we need to get to use any of this? Did you see what he did to those guys? I'm sorry, but they had just run out of wooden stake cannons. And speaking of wooden stakes, we need to make them. There's a knife on the table. This is bullshit. He's gonna tear us apart before we can even fight it. Do you have any better suggestions? <laughs> Unknown. Let me screen this. My name is Rachel Stone. I'm an attorney at law. Damn. I represent Mr. Virgil Salcedo. My client would like to discuss matters related to the late Andrew Craig. Craig? Please give me a call back at your earliest convenience. This is a fairly urgent matter. Thank you. Hi, yes? This is Polar Franco. When and where? I 
I am that suspect that will be announced during the press conference later this evening. But as you know, I am not the killer. So why are they pinning this on you? Well, let's just say that I'm not in good terms with the city. And my association with Andrew Craig has presented the perfect opportunity for them to get rid of me. Why aren't you in good terms with the city? That's not part of this conversation. Rachel, let me handle this, please. My beef with the city has to do with politics, money, and contracts. But not murder. They need an enemy out of the picture and a scapegoat for their incompetence. And you're looking at both right now. Mr. Salcedo, I still please, don't see. Please, please, let me just finish. In about an hour, I'm gonna turn myself in. That's just the start of the mediation process. Rachel likes fancy legal terms. But the fact is, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me for something I did not do. The DA and the mayor, they're gonna declare victory. And after tonight, you two are the only ones looking for the real killer. And that includes the media. They're not interested, I already asked. I bet you did. Yes, I did. I need you. I need the narrative. We don't do narratives. I need you to find the killers. I haven't heard anything that will get us any closer to that. I can be generous. Generous? Yeah, yeah, well, what are you, 26, 28? I bet you're drowning in student debt. I can help with that. How about you? The army paid for my education. I don't know a cent. But I bet you don't own a cent either. We are wasting our time here. Andrew Craig hired me to find several properties for the past few years. Some here, some in South America. But precisely, he was interested in buying a house in Uruguay. Small city called Colonia de Sacramento. Go on. He also wanted me to find a building here in the city. Something that's been abandoned for a long time. Something dark, isolated, with no next door neighbors. Did you find it? Oh, yes, I did. And I sold it to him for an insane amount of money. You didn't even blink an eye. On closing day, went out to celebrate, had a couple of drinks. He got tipsy. He spilled the beans. Told me he bought it for his master. His master? Oh, if you ask me, I think he meant the devil. Close enough. Do you have an address? Oh, I could do better than that. I've got the keys. dying. We can either lock down and hide or go out and fight. What will it be? You know I can fight. I know you don't like to talk about the war. Have you ever killed anyone?
He is not in this building. Why would he lie? Why would Salcedo lie? Maybe he didn't. I don't know. But I think we should get out of here before it gets dark. Yeah. Maybe it is a trap. These windows have newspaper. So? Why would they do that? I don't know. Main job. To prevent sunlight from coming in. Or to paint the interior without messing up the windows. There's nothing to see. Can we go now? Clearly nobody's been here for years. I would agree, but... But what? This edition is from two weeks ago.
For as long as I live, I will always remember the sound she made. You can't save the world, Bilan. This morning, we woke up to the news that Virgil Salcedo hanged himself before he was arrested. Or was it afterward? It doesn't really matter. We've all seen the memes, and popular wisdom indicates that they never hang themselves. With Salcedo's death, the official story is now fully confirmed. After a week of terror, a dangerous criminal was identified and took his own life before he was apprehended by our city heroes. By the time you hear this story, you will be confronted by two completely different versions of the truth. Just remember that two completely different versions of the truth cannot coexist. One of them is false. If history has taught us anything, it is that most of the time, the official story is not the truthful one. You might find comfort in believing it, since the official story is usually the most convenient one. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, we killed Crowley. You've got the right to speak. You've got the right to speak and question. And if they try to shut you up by telling you that science doesn't back you up, remind them that science is never, ever settled. 
I'm Pilar Franco, and this is The Hammer. One of these days, you're gonna get us killed. Influencers don't get killed. They get deplatformed. Same shit. <laughs> well, until that happens, let's keep our followers happy, and engagements is the name of the game. Speaking of engagement, I was hoping we need to find a more permanent solution. If you're talking about Marvin, we are not ready to launch our own platform I'm not yet. talking about our careers. I'm talking about us. Don't play with me, girl. Actually, I was hoping to play with you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think this is gonna work. Damn, I guess not. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, you know? I wouldn't have it any other way.